Praise the Lord, glory to God, King Yeshua, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray you speak and let us be silent in Jesus' name, King Yeshua name. Topic today is souls, those who hate you. I received a dream where someone was I was trying to save this lead this person to Christ but I, I saw that this person wanted me to go to hell and then in, in the dream it switched and I was showing the person that they were about to go to hell uh, upon I, I saw the bottomless pit and I saw the embers of fire and I saw the person looking at it and this is the second time because I've seen that person's name on a headstone and this message is very personal today because it it reminds me of David and Absalom. David and Absalom. Second Samuel 15, after four years, Absalom said to King David, please let me go to Hebron. I want to carry up my promise that I made to the Lord while I was living in Geshur in Aram. I said, if the Lord take me back to Jerusalem, I will worship him in Hebron. The king said, go in peace. So Absalom went to Hebron, but he sent secret messenger to all the tribes of Israel. They told the people, when you hear the trumpet, say this, Absalom is king at Hebron. Now you see this, Absalom, David is his father. Absalom has been planning treachery. And Absalom says he's going to sacrifice before the Lord and uses that as a, a means of deceit uses the Lord uses he wants to get close to the Lord when he really wants to betray his father King David now you look at it's an interesting story second Samuel 15 go all the way through through 19, 18 19 or 18 uh, you look you see David Absalom wants to kill David and take his kingdom. Now the king had commanded the Joab, Abishai, and Ittai, say, Deal gently for my sake with the young man Absalom. And all the people heard when the king gave all the captains orders concerning Absalom. Oh dear God, hallelujah. The king David knows that this young man his son wants to kill him and he wants to save his life david is out of his palace to me this is the best example of the love of god for the wicked a man i, I have children a man has children and Oh God, the variety of uh, attitudes and, and the way they treat you, different things. It's, it, I'll tell you, it, 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 some love you, some, it, it, it's, it's your children are in a special place in your heart. They hurt, you hurt. And any love I have for my children cannot compare to the love that God has for his children. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God gave his Son. God gave his child. Oh, dear God trying to let you know how precious you are to God. The Bible said that 
God love us like he loved Yeshua King Jesus. Dear God, can you imagine a man trying to kill me? Want me to go to hell? But I'm trying to save his soul. I'm trying to save his soul. I'm trying to say to him, don't go to hell. I know he wants this, this man I saw in the dream. I know he wants me dead and to go to hell based on what I saw in the dream. But yet I've been seeing where he's looking at hell. We're having spiritual conversations about saving his soul. You know, how did I get to this place where I could love somebody trying to kill me? I remember I was teaching the Bible and, and I heard the word of the Lord come out my heart. And he said, ask for a transfusion of the blood of Jesus. The transfusion of the blood of Jesus, King Yeshua. You know, sometimes people, I use Yeshua and Jesus back and forth. I use Jesus because the Spirit speak to me and say, Jesus. But I know his name is Yeshua. I know that. But I'm not going to get hung up on that. But he said, ask for a transfusion of the blood of Yeshua. And when that blood came into me, evil went out. And love came in, true love. Love even for my enemies. Agape love. The love of God. You know, hell so bad, I wouldn't want my enemy to go to hell. And I'm praying that the Lord would put a Holy Ghost spirit to touch on this word and wet it up, wet, wet it, wet it, wet it, wet it, wet it. I'm even praying that the man who I seen in the vision, I'm trying to save his soul, but he wants me dead. I'm praying that he watch this video because I've been trying to pray for wisdom. The Lord speak and say, if I... Warn you about the righteous, the wicked, they're going to die. And you don't warn them. Uh, you're going to require the blood of my hands. And I want to wash. I don't want this man to go to hell on my account. But I don't want to send this message to him and cause anger. I want him to use wisdom. And go to paradise. And trick the devil. Hey, it's all right to trick the devil. How do you trick the devil? If you end up in paradise, if you end up in hell, he's tricked you. I want this man to go to paradise. I think I'm even going to send him this video. Pray with me that he understanding in the spirit that it's coming to him. For God so loved the world. Yeah, hallelujah. The mercy of God. And I say to this young man, if you're watching this, say, Father, forgive me of my sins. I confess Jesus Christ as Lord. Forgive, save me, Lord. Save my soul from the fires of hell. Save my soul by the blood of Yeshua, King Jesus. I believe you raised Christ from the dead. Raise me from the dead. Now lift your hands and say, Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the blood. Fill me, cleanse, give me a blood transfusion. Father, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill me, God, with you. And cause me, O oh God, to be grown up. To, to Many are called, but few are chosen. Help me. Dear God, to be one of the chosen ones. Revelation 3.21 says, To him that overcome, I will grant to sit with me in my throne. Even as I have overcome, sit down with my Father in his throne. I send this message out today because that's what the Spirit showed me. I try to speak what, what the Spirit is showing me. There's a lot of us the Bible says to love our enemies. Pray for those who spitefully use us. Uh, loving your enemy. Oh God, this is supernatural. 
supernatural to love your enemy. And, and the greatest love I have, you know, Mama said, it's not where you, my mother, Gloria Beverly Barrett Jackson. Why is this woman I know? Why is this woman I know? She said, it's not where you are, it's where you end up. Where you end up? Where do you end up? It's not where you are now, where you end up. No matter what you're going through, the vicissitudes of life, the storms, the seas, no matter how rough it is, long as you end up in paradise. Revelation 21 4 said there'll be no more pain, no more suffering, no more crying. Oh, hallelujah. They said we're going to be able to see the face of God, and God's going to look upon us. Oh, hallelujah. It's going to be mansions, streets of gold. It's going to be joy. You know, God's name is uh, El Elyon, the most <sighs> secret. People don't understand that when the Holy Ghost come upon you, when the Spirit of God is in you, you get high. Yeah, you get high. The most high. The most high, the most high get you high. Oh, my God. And there's no hangover. Some of you Christians don't know what I'm talking about, huh? But the Lord God is sweet. Get saved. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. Get baptized. And pray the Lord show you a church to go to. You know, I would have a hard time tithing the... Uh, supporting a church that the Lord hadn't given me no vision on, no, hasn't shown me something, you know, I would have a hard time to do that. Oh, praise God. This message is, is about loving the wicked, saving their souls, leading them to Christ in Jesus' name, Yeshua name. As we close, remember BibleBillboard.org. We aim to put up billboards reading the Bible in every language of the world. God bless.